Hi, I'm Lieutenant Eric Durker with the Stowe Police Department. Joining me today is Law Director Jamie Six and Tony Carter of the Stowe Youth Services. Today we're going to talk to you about 911, in particular children calling a 911 emergency service. Tony, you have some experience teaching children in this regard. Can you explain your experiences? Yes, so I am the coordinator for the City of Stowe Safety Town program, and one of the many lessons that we cover in our week-long Safety Town program is 911 safety and how to properly call 911 if the children are facing or may see an emergency situation. And so one tool that we utilize in our Safety Town program is actually an app that parents you can download on your phones. That app is called Ready, Set, Dial. And on that app, there are several ways to practice calling 911. And today, I would love to practice that. Jamie, do you mind helping us out? I don't mind at all. All right, so <laughs> on our app, you go to the simulator and you're able to dial 911. 911, what's the emergency? My neighbor's house is on fire. What is your name and how old are you? My name is Jamie and I am six. I'm going to help you. Okay. It's important that you do not hang up the phone, okay? Okay. Is your mom or your daddy at home? Yes. Can you tell me your phone number? Two three four seven six seven. Can you tell me your address? Uh, I don't remember my address, but I live on Oakwood. You're doing a great job. Okay. I have an ambulance on the way. <laughs> They'll be there in a few minutes. Great job, Jamie. Thank you. So as you all can see, it is a, a pretty fast-paced app, um, and we want to have children practice learning their phone numbers as well as their address. And if they're not able to learn their whole address, at least knowing what street they live on and what city they live in are very important. I know, Lieutenant Zerker, before we started filming this, you were telling this, um, you were telling us how your wife would teach your kids um, things, and I thought that that was adorable. So could you tell us how she taught your kids it, important stuff? It was actually very effective. She just taught them a jingle. Mm -hmm. um, it was 330, 234. Blah, 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 blah. It was great. And the kids actually memorized it. She used to sing it with the kids in the car while we were driving somewhere. Very effective. They learned their, my, or my, uh, excuse me, my wife's phone number uh, from that jingle. So those are great things to utilize. Uh, highly encourage it. It's difficult for a kid just to memorize a basic phone number, right? So that'll help them. Also, as kids get older, they can only remember so much. So Tony, as you mentioned, and as an assimilated call, you just said the street address. That's very common that we will just get partial information. Mm -hmm. So the kid might be only five or six, but at least if they can't remember the house number, at least teach them at least to start with what city. And then once they get that down, at least the street and work from there as they get older. That's good advice. We also tell parents to make sure that they guard their phones or even if they have a deactivated cell phone, mm. those phones can still call 911. And we unfortunately have several children every year here in the city of Stowe who call 911 just to see their favorite officer or to say hello and we want to make sure that those 911 calls are staying open for people who are having real emergencies. Thank you so much for joining us today, Tony. Thank you. And we will see you next time. Stay safe.